teeth and microbes strong clean and healthy teeth make us look attractive teeth give shape to our face and enable us to speak clearly we chew bite and grind our food with the help of our teeth this also helps in our digestion milk teeth and permanent teeth a human baby is born toothless when the baby is 6 to 7 months old its teeth start growing by the time a child is 2 and a half to 3 years old a set of 20 teeth grows in his or her mouth this set of teeth is called as baby teeth or milk teeth these milk teeth start falling at the age of 6 years they are replaced by a new set of teeth these teeth are called as permanent teeth by the time a child becomes an adult he or she has a new set of 32 permanent teeth 16 in the upper jaw and 16 in the lower jaw they last for a lifetime if they are looked after properly types of teeth have you looked at your teeth carefully in the mirror we have four different kinds of teeth in our mouth they have different shapes and different uses in scissors look at your front teeth carefully we use these sharp teeth for cutting and biting our food they are called as incisors or cutting teeth we have four incisors in the upper jaw and four in the lower jaw canines we have four pointed and sharp teeth next to the incisors two in the upper jaw and two in the lower jaw we tear our food with the help of canines they are called as tearing teeth premolars these are the flat and white teeth located next to the canines they are used to chew the food there are four premolars in the upper jaw and four in the lower jaw molars the molars or grinding teeth have flat surface than the premolars they have flat broad upper surfaces to grind the food as we chew there are six molars in each jaw firstly one molar grows in each jaw later two more molars grow in each jaw we use incisors to cut the food canines to tear the food and premolars and molars to crush chew and grind the food structure of a tooth a tooth has three parts the crown the neck and the root the crown is the part of the tooth that is visible above the gum the neck is the region of the tooth that is at the gum line between the root and the crown the root is the region of the tooth that is present below the gum it holds the tooth firmly the outer surface of the tooth is made of enamel the hardest material in our body below the enamel the layer present is called dentine it is slightly softer than the enamel the soft portion present inside the dentine contains nerves and blood vessels the soft portion is known as the pulp taking care of teeth it is important for us to look after our teeth we should keep our teeth gums and mouth clean so that we can prevent cavities cavities can cause toothache we must brush our teeth every day when we eat small particles of food get stuck between our teeth germs start growing on these food particles a thin sticky layer of germs is called plaque 
germs grow in our mouth, produces plaque on teeth and around the gums. This produces acid that affects the teeth and gums. It may cause small holes in the enamel. Later, germs enter through the hole and cause tooth decay. This may cause severe pain. If we leave it unattended, the tooth can even fall down. If any of the permanent teeth fall, it cannot be replaced by a new tooth. Tooth decay causes severe problems such as toothache, bleeding of gums, yellow teeth and bad breath. Tips for healthy teeth and gums Brush your teeth regularly every morning and before going to bed at night. Gently brush each side of teeth and the gums. Do not eat too many sweets, chocolates, toffees, candies, etc. Avoid drinking too much aerated drinks. If you do, rinse your mouth immediately. Eat green leafy vegetables and fibrous foods in enough quantity. Go to a dentist every six months for dental checkup. Do not share your brush with others. It may spread germs. Use a good quality toothpaste and toothbrush to brush your teeth. Microbes Microbes are very thin creatures present in the air, water, soil, rock and our bodies. We can see them only through a microscope. Some microbes are useful for us. They serve us in different ways. Some microbes are harmful for us. They spread diseases in humans, plants and animals. Microbes causing diseases are known as germs. Microbes grow very rapidly when they get warmth, food, moisture and air. Certain parts of our body like the nose, mouth and blood provide ideal conditions for their growth. Types of Microbes Mainly, there are four types of microbes, bacteria, protozoa, fungi and viruses. Bacteria Bacteria have only one cell. Bacteria are of different shapes such as sphere, rods and spirals. Bacteria are very small. Some harmful bacteria spread serious diseases such as pneumonia, typhoid and diphtheria. Some bacteria are useful and help to make cheese, vinegar, curd, etc. Some bacteria are helpful in digestion too. Protozoa Protozoa are a group of microscopic creatures. Protozoa can be parasites too. Most of them are harmless, but some of them can cause diseases in humans and animals. Harmful protozoa usually cause diseases such as malaria, dysentery, etc. Fungi Fungi are microbes. Some of them can be seen without a microscope. They are found in air, soil, plants and water. There are thousands of varieties of fungi that exist on earth. The most familiar varieties of fungi to us are mushroom, yeast and mould. They grow on decaying matter. Some fungi can live in the human body. They affect our skin, nails and hair and cause diseases such as ringworm and dandruff on the scalp. Some fungi such as yeast are used to make bread. Viruses 
viruses are among the smallest microbes, much smaller than bacteria. They can be seen only through a very precision microscope. Most viruses cause diseases such as cold, influenza, measles, polio, etc. Useful microbes We may think that microbes are usually harmful. It is not so. Some microbes make our soil fertile by changing the dead matter into useful fertilizer. They keep our surroundings clean by breaking down waste materials into useful substances. Bacteria in our intestine helps to digest food. They also help to absorb vitamins from food. Some microbes change milk into curd. They help in making other milk products such as cheese, etc. Some fungi and bacteria are used in making wines, vinegar and other fermented products.